I need some more of these shop lights. They really do the job. Hey folks, it's Ben. We're here with our 2008 Chevy Equinox. If you couldn't guess by the butt being up and probably have just watched a video about the front suspension. <laughs> we're doing a, a video here on the rear suspension. Not even the suspension. We're not undoing the spring or anything like that. But what we are doing is undoing the shock. Um, if we're doing the front struts, we must we'll do the shocks as well. My understanding, it's fairly easy to do, minus the fact that uh, it's really dirty in here. And uh, I've got to pop some plastic rivets. So I got my, my little plastic brush here. We're gonna go around and knock some dirt off of these and make some dust. And uh, hit as many of these as I can. I'll get the flashlight and I'll let you watch. And uh, we'll pop these rivets out uh, and take the panel out. And that'll give us access to the upper bolt here. And we're two bolts away from swapping this thing out. Um, probably get my little baby jack to put under here. Back in my day, uh, <laughs> the shocks are what kept the spring from jumping out. So probably same scenario here. So I'll get my little blue jack or something to keep it from going spring. And uh, actually, though, the way this is set up, I don't think it could. It's pushing on the car, but that's pushing that with that. And the... yeah, anyway, so, and we've got some holes in our plastic too, just from rocks. <laughs> we live on the gravel, so we got lots of rocks, but let's get these out. And I got a little popper. We'll pop these and uh, hopefully pull this panel out, do an inspection too while we're in here and ultimately uh, get this swapped out. I have lots of plastic replacement rivets if we do happen to damage one of these beyond repair. There's one little 10 mil nut up here. It's a sheet rock, it's a sheet rock, sheet metal uh, on a stud. inches of dirt up here. Check this out. So there's uh, some sort of padding, matting, I guess, to give it some structural stability or sound deadening. But yee, it's also just caked with dirt. Cause uh, when we drive on the gravel, it adds a little bit. Wish I could hose that down. The best I can do is that. Okay, that was regrettable. All right, so, <laughs> woo, look at all the fuel lines we got here. I got a vent for the fuel, and that's probably a seat belt seat, something like that. Fuel lines we're familiar with. I think I've had this, maybe I've had this off before when I did the fuel tank, now that I think of that. That was a couple years ago. But really what I want is this, which is access to this guy. And all we need to do is take it off, take the bottom one off, and we're in. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. We are in 18 millimeter land, so let's go ahead and hit it. Looks like I had the camera go out on me, but uh, this is a fairly long guy and it uh, came out spinning all the way. So next we're coming down here to this bolt. Same idea, I already broke it. And uh, there we go. And we will just, I 
I don't think it's turning the nut on the other side. I think it's attached, so we can get our ratchet to behave. We should be able to get it out too and pull this shot out. It's hard to do this without a tripod. That, the shock should be free. I can in theory compress it and get it out. There, one long shock. Let's go look at a new one. So here we go with a new one in the box. Uh, these happen to be uh, 911258 Reflex. Looks like it was a different part number at one time. No, it wasn't. 911258, so just restickered. Actually, I haven't looked at these yet. I'm guessing they're black. And instead of being plastic, there's a sticker. They're metal. So interesting, but uh, pretty much the same. So we'll just rotate them so that they fit and uh, put them back in. I think we'll do the top first and then attach the bottom. So it of course didn't record the installation because you know, why would you do that? But long story short, I got a jack stand here that's underneath my control arm. And uh, so I lowered my jack a little bit that's holding the car up and uh, brought it down so I could put my bolt through. Easy peasy. Ditto up here. I hung the shock first actually so i put the shock in put this bolt in by fingers um then put the bottom in tightened it tighten that one they're not overly tight but they are kind of tight let's go with that i'm sure there's a number i'll probably put up on the boards but for now that's what you got and now i gotta shake that free of the rest of the dirt that's on it stick it back in the hole i'll time lapse that and there you go actually it might take about five minutes to get some of this extra dirt out uh, while I'm here, but you don't need to see that part and then uh, that'll be that There you go, there's one two three four five six seven eight of the plastic rivets and then that sheet metal screw what i mean by that it not actually is it's a nut made out of sheet metal it's just on a little stud up top here and uh, that just keeps the top in there make sure that this edge is folded into the plastic edge is folded under 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 and then it pops over here on the plastic bumper is on the outside again so if you have any questions on how to do the shock, I'm about to the other side. Not sure if my camera's gonna make it, but I'll do a time lapse. But I'll get this in while I can. If you have any questions, ask them, comments, leave them. Subscribe to my channel, Turbo231, for more exciting videos. And thanks for watching, appreciate it. Let's see if the time lapse will work. Time lapse will work. If it doesn't, you'll get to see me do it real quick.